Millions continue traveling across the United States for the total solar eclipse that's happening Monday. However, the weather may not cooperate in some places. It's forecasted that parts of Texas will experience cloudiness and possible storms, which could make it hard, of course, to take in the eclipse. However, that has not stopped visitors from traveling to see the phenomenon. And Local 10's Andrew Perez will be covering it from Dallas near my home hood. Look for his live report starting Sunday evening and throughout Eclipse Day on Monday. It's Eclipse Day, I guess that's the best yes. way to call it, right here on Local 10. And also Monday, join us for Eclipse Across America. ABC News will have crews spread out across the country, bringing us live reports from cities experiencing 100% totality. Eclipse Across America airs Monday at 2 p.m. And I'm hearing the weather in Texas might be a bit iffy for this eclipse. Jordan, what can you tell us in regards to that? Unfortunately, almost the entire totality line is going to be very cloudy, unfortunately. Mm. So, Lair and Sonella, let's take a look at what we're looking at for Monday afternoon. This is our model with our predicted sky cast. So that shows where the clouds are going to be. Notice we have some developing clouds near the western Gulf Coast. That's a trough of low pressure that's going to be developing and moving into Texas. So this is Monday morning. Watch what happens right about when we start to get towards totality in Texas. That line starts to move up and really fills in from Austin to Dallas and those clouds extend thanks to a cold front up through Arkansas into Indianapolis towards Ohio and it's not going to be until you hit the New England area that where the totality is you actually will have clear skies. So unfortunately a lot of the folks that have traveled might have some difficulty looking at this eclipse on Monday. For us here in South Florida we don't have totality obviously we have about 46 percent so a little bit less than half that's going to start at about 146 seven in the afternoon peaks from 301 to 304. So the peak is going to be about three minutes and then it will end at 413 in the afternoon. Now notice Skycast showing yeah, a few high clouds here or there, but by and large, we really shouldn't have any hindrances to viewing this with highs right around 80 degrees as totality hits. Meantime, back here at home for today, at least it was a very wonderful day. Started off in the low 60s, even low and mid 50s in some of the western neighborhoods. Highs into the low 80s, a little bit cooler than average. Nothing but sunshine right now with temperatures right at 80 degrees with that northwest wind really making that humidity take a nosedive. Dew points in the 40s. Oh, it is so wonderful outside. We'll keep maybe a high level cloud or two overnight, but by and large, clear skies. Temperatures once again dropping down into the 60s, Sonella and Laren, as we head towards overnight tonight. As you move into the daytime tomorrow, highs once again getting into the low 80s with plenty of sunshine on eclipse day. A few clouds, but we should be able to see it and a gradual warm up ahead of our next cold front by Friday.